Welcome at a Blender quick tip and for today dissolve edges. Before I start showing you the magic of dissolve edges I have to say that I had a comment of a viewer from a medium tutorial modeling game asset saying super great tutorial man but can I do dissolve edges instead of dragging and removing doubles? Is it the same? Yes in fact it's the same but I think you can combine these two workflows together but in the end it's you deciding which workflow you like the best. Now let's talk about dissolving edges first. I've got a model down here. We have a few options. It shows three options, but if you select one edge and another edge, you will get two options first. Let's talk about add first. So what this does is Blender remembers which vertice you selected first and which vertice you selected as last. If you merge at first, it will remember which one you selected first and puts the second one at it and remove the doubles immediately without you have to select, drag, select all and remove doubles. Now the second option is the option I think people would use the most. It says at last. This means it will remember the vertice you have selected as last. In this case it's this one down here and I click as last, it will merge these two vertices together. We also have an option saying at center. This means when you select multiply of these, it will always choose the one in the center and merge these together like so. We also have something that says at cursor. In this case, my cursor is at the grid in the middle, so it will merge it all together and then puts it all to where you have your cursor. And I think this can make some very funny shapes doing it like so. Then we also have something that says collapse. Now if I click collapse, it kind of looks the same as when I do at center. So I don't know really yet what collapse does, but in this case collapse is sounds like the same as doing it at center. Now allow me to demonstrate when you use dissolve edges and when you use a different workflow. In this case, when you have this model like this here and you have this useless vertice down here that needs to be merged with this one, in this case it would be faster if you select this vertice, select this vertice and then merge as last. The point is, in my tutorial I was selecting it, then going to the side view, then press G to drag, then move it up to the place, then unselect, select all, and then remove doubles. In this case, it will take longer time and much more work to do. Now allow me to show a different workflow. If you have what I got here, 13 vertices that have to merge in this place down here, it will take a little bit of work to get them all together with dissolving edges. I have to select this one, select this one, at last, like this one, like this one, at last. But what I find more handier to do, if I go to the top view, press B to select them all, and drag them over here, press B, hold shift, unselect, move them up, press B, hold shift, move them up, unselect, select, remove doubles. I think in this case it will take a lesser work to do it like so than using dissolving edges. But in the end it's always up to you what workflow will work the best for you. So if you got some comments or a request then comment below. If you found this video useful then like and subscribe for more and thanks for watching. Bye bye.